and welcome back to another class with Prosper and Mamu Zogiliaka. In this class, we'll be talking about prose. Prose is from a Latin word, prosa, which means straightforward. You can also say prosa ratio, which means straightforward speech. Indeed, it is straightforward because it doesn't uh, make use of too much figure of speech like a poetry. When we say prose, prose is written in chapters and paragraphs. It has two types which are fiction and non-fiction. Fiction and non-fiction. A fictional prose is that kind of prose that is not a real life story. We can say it is fake. It was created out of nothing just to teach a particular thing. But if it is non-fictional, a non-fictional prose is that kind of prose that is written from something that is a true life story. Talks about one, maybe someone that has lived or someone that is still living. As far as it is a true life story, it is non-fictional. But if it is uh, not a true life story, it is a fake story that was brought out of nothing, we call it a fictional prose. Well, let's talk about the types of non-fictional prose. We have a biography and autobiography. A biography is one story written by another person. John's story written by Peter. So we can say since John's story was written by Peter, it is John's biography. So when that person writes someone else's story, it is the other person's words, biography. But even his autobiography, it is one story written by himself. John writes his own story, it is autobiography. Then for fictional prose, we have the novel, we have the um, novelettes, we have the short stories and short short stories. If it is a novel, it is that kind of long narrative that has at least 50,000 words. It takes time to read this kind of a book. It can even take you nothing, nothing less than um, 12 hours, even a whole day, and even some days to complete that particular work of art. And if it is a novelette, it is shorter than a, no than a novel. You can read it in the space of three hours, two and a half hours if you are doing speed reading. Then if it is um, a short story, short story is shorter than a novelette, but longer than a short, short story. That is why sometimes you see the thirties and other short stories. All those are the one we call short stories. You can read them in the space of one hour, 30 minutes. But even a short, short story, that's some of the ones you find in English textbooks or in those story books of little children that you can read in the space of um, one minute, three minutes, as fast as you, as you can. So that is it for um, fictional prose. Let's talk about the types of prose that we have. I'll give you some types of prose. Number one is epic novel. Types of novels that we have. We have number one epic novel, which is a novel that talks about hero, ancient hero, narrative. It is narrative in form of talk about an ancient hero and his great deeds. Those are epic novels. We have the epistolary novel, which is written in the form of a letter. That is the epistolary novel. We have the pastoral novel. The pastoral novel is a form of novel that talks about the rural people, the rural environment, everything about the rural people. We also have the Picarex novel. The Picarex novel is a novel that talks about rogue. It prefers the rogue. The rogue is the main character in that particular story. We have the apprenticeship novel which is a novel that talks about someone who grows from one stage to another, has education and continues to grow in knowledge and in education. That is the apprenticeship um, novel. I hope this class is well understood. We've been able to learn different types of, of prose and different types of fiction, different types of non-fiction, and different types of novels as well.